Good morning, dear Libra. I'm Empress Rose, and we're going to do a reading. Uh, this is a very general tarot reading. It's um, take what works for you, leave what doesn't. And also, I want to let you know that all my cards are very thoroughly pre-shuffled and prepared and prayed over before I turned on the camera. I think it's a little bit private for me to do that stuff, and I don't want to share it. So let's see where this reading takes us. So we're going to start with the Oracle of Mystical Moments deck. And it's going to give me an um, intuitive idea of where we might be going. All right, this is for Libra. Okay. Boy, <laughs> we just had something pop right out there. So we'll take it. Um, so we have, we have Eva. This is something, it's not what it seems. It looks like a flower, but it's actually just a bunch of snakes. This is beautiful. It looks so beautiful, but it's not it's not what it seems. So this could be intentional lying, this could be accidental lying. Sometimes we just lie to ourselves. And um that's the worst kind. But sometimes um we lie to ourselves and then we go tell other people, you know, it could be someone who's lying to themselves and isn't telling you something that they, they actually believe. It could be a situation where you just need to look a little closer, look a little deeper. It doesn't look like, it isn't what it looks like. Um, it's so beautiful, but it's not what it looks like. And then we have this observer. She's very focused on one thing, one or two things. Um, she's looking extremely closely. Well, if she's looking so closely, why can't she tell that this isn't what it looks like? So maybe that's what we're doing. We're just we're just having a week where we're looking very closely at something and it's not and and we're realizing we're focused on something and we're realizing it's maybe and we're coming to an understanding of maybe it's not uh, what what you th originally thought it was. There's a moon here, even though it's daylight, we still have this, this moon, this reflection, this, we have these ideas, these sort of dandelion seeds, this, 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 what we're looking at is starting to spark some other ideas. I want, I want different cards, actually. I'm going to take another card because I just feel like this is a very incomplete message. All right, something else for Libra to help clarify this. Oh boy, that's a lot of cards, but you know what? We're going to take them. We're going to do a, a little quick go through. Okay. Oh, we have treasured memories. My God, do we have treasured memories? We have treasured memories. They're sort of sustaining us, elevating us. Uh, we have intuition. We're going forward, feeling our way bit by bit, creating something very beautiful, even though we can't see where it's all going. And then we have this night ride. We're going through a little bit of a dark dark area, dark energy, but we are very well protected through this. Um, we have this ancient, ancient bit with us. Um, and look, we're, we're looking at all of these things. Our, our camera has some focus on, on, on trying to discern whether something's real or not, something's true or not. Maybe that's what's going on here. We're trying to discern what's what's real what's true is this a flower there are flowers here but is this a flower is eva a flower or is she a um a snake in our garden you know we're, we're looking very closely at um the snake in the garden these treasured memories we have are they real memories or are they just like um what what are they are they are, the, are these memories flowers or are they um, snakes? But, and then, then we're weaving together something very intuitively. So there's a couple cards of intuition. There's some passionate ideas here. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of, of passion. A lot of ideas, a lot of thoughts are very much up in our heads, but we're trusting our intuition Somehow our treasured memories are looking at this intuition thing and we can't see very clearly. Maybe that's why we're so focused. We can't see very clearly. It's just this sort of um, a darkness, a, a unclear place, but we do have protection as we go through. There's a lot of lack of clarity. Like we can't see what we're weaving. 
we're in this dark place. We can't see uh, whether this is a flower or a snake. We're trying so hard though. We're, we're very focused on something. We're trying so hard to see. And maybe this is through a media. We're trying so hard to discern something through some sort of media, um, you know, through pictures, through, um, I'm reminded of an old Cure song about pictures. Um, we're trying to look at these pictures um, to, to our past and discern what is, what's real from back then and what's not. Um, but going forward, um, th these memories are bringing us uh, into, forward into a place of, of intuition uh, that's going to be guiding us through a, a dark um, period of not a lot of information, not a lot of clarity. We're seeking clarity. We're looking to our past, seeking clarity, seeking to understand whether something was, was real or not real, whether it was a flower or a snake, um, whether these treasured memories are, are of a, whether they're, they're actually the way we remember them or not, you know? Um, and, and this is leading us to a place of deep intuition as we're looking and focusing on these maybe pictures from the past we're bringing ourselves into a place of intuition when we're building a new life. Um, we can't see where we're going though. We want, we, we're looking, maybe we're so focused on the past that we're not looking where we're going. But we do have protection and our intuition is protecting us as we move forward. We, Libras. Libras can be hard for me to read since I'm a Libra. Okay, so we're gonna move to the Santa Muerte portion of the deck. Again, these have been very thoroughly pre-shuffled. All right, Libra, this is your past. This is your present. This is your inner landscape. This is what blocks you. This is what's at issue. This is your environment, your to-do list, your possible outcome. All right, in your recent past, you have this Queen of Pentacles. You have this looking up, looking ahead, looking to a harvest. You're very excited about something in your real life that you've accomplished and you're looking to climb the ladder and you're capable of climbing the ladder. You'd like to climb the ladder and collect some coins up here. And so you've started on that journey. You're um, moving up, moving forward, moving up in life, uh, collecting your coins, um, and you still have a ways to go. You're just on the first rung of, um, of a journey up, a journey forward. Um, and you're really looking at, um, you're eager for the harvest above, but you, you've got some rungs to climb uh, but you've started. You've started on a journey that's going to bring you um, some success and some some coins. Uh, you, in your present situation, the world is changing. The, everything around you is changing. The whole world. This isn't a, a time period that you're in control of or you have a lot of say over. This is just the world turning. The world's doing its thing. It's divinely guided. Uh, there's a lot of change. The seasons are changing around you. It's simply what the world does. We are in this world. Um, it, it change is the only constant, um, and everything around you is just continuously changing. Um, and the whole the whole world is shifting and changing. And so that's in your present moment, um, and that's highlighted here. I mean, obviously, that's in all of our present moments at all times. That the world is constantly changing. But this is just highlighting it. That this has something to do with your story. Uh, the changes going on around you that you're not in control of and that you're not in charge of that has something to do with um, with this this week and this journey. There's something around you that's changing and shifting, um, and it's definitely affecting you for sure. But you don't you can watch it, but you can't control it. Uh, in your inner landscape, we have this Knight of Wands. So the Knights are um, masters of one aspect. So, so in this, in the decks, we have you know the coins, the wands, the swords, um, the cups. And so the Knight has mastered one of those things and is perhaps a little over eager to apply it. So you have inspiration. This raring to go, moving forward, moving on, charge forward. You know maybe. You've just come out of a, a really uh, eventful period where lots of things happening, lots of battles, and you are just in this mode of, oh, what's the problem? 
let's charge forward. So internally, you want to charge forward. You've got this, this animal inside you that's rearing up in excitement and you want the battle cry and you want to move forward and you want this whole thing to, to go forward and, and move forward. You're ready to go. You are climbing this ladder and you'd like to climb it way fast. Um, so internally, you're feeling impatient. Um, and then what, what the issue is, is this hanged man. So this is, um, and this is, we're going to take it in the reversed reading. So in the upright reading, we've taken a pause, but it's a very useful pause. We're sorting through some things. We're grounding in some really fertile muck and, and time. Things around us are changing. But in the reversal, we, um, we, it's too stagnant. I mean, and this has got to be so frustrating because inside we are raring, ready to go. We are inspired. We are moving forward. Externally, it's like nothing's happening. So uh, sometimes in life, you know, I'm all, we're always learning. We're always growing. Our circumstances are always these like rich muck that we can learn from and grow from and take lots of nutrients from. But at some point, we've taken all the nutrients we can out of a situation and it still doesn't move. You know, if you are, if you are, you know, unemployed, you can learn everything you can of how did I get here? What's going on? How's the situation working? Um, who am I? What am I doing here? How did I, you know, you can really like analyze it and, and really think and really pull a lot of nutrients out of like the rich um, soil of the muck we find ourselves in sometimes. There's so much to learn in each of those things. Um, but at some point it just is what it is. And, and there's not much more to learn. And, and you feel like you've learned your lesson from a situation. You, you've learned everything you can, but it still doesn't mean the situation moves just because you got everything you needed out of it. This is out of your control. There's something very much out of your control. It's not moving forward. You want it to move forward. You feel like you've learned everything. You feel like you've mastered a lot. You feel like you're ready to go. Um, but your environment's still like, yeah, well, this is, you can learn everything you want here. It doesn't change the world. It doesn't change what's going on around you. It doesn't change any of that. So what do you got left? You got to accept that nothing's moving forward. It's not moving forward, and that's causing an issue for you. It's way too stuck, way too stuck in something. Even though you feel like moving forward, something externally, and I would say it's internal, except for we have this world card telling me that the world's doing its own thing at its own pace, and I think that, that you're stuck here. I think this is going to create a little bit of a night for you. But you are, you are protected as you walk through that night. You are being sort of ferried through that night. Um, your intuition is going to guide you through that night. Oh my gosh. In your environment, you have the seven of swords. You have sort of a treacherous environment around you are maybe some people you can't trust. Here's this Eva card. Um, this is similar. This is something, something that's not as it seems. And you're waking up to that. You're, you've, you were buried alive and in your environment is sort of this, um, maybe it's someone specific in your environment, maybe it's you. You know, hope kept you alive through some really dark times. You've done all the reflecting you can do. Um, there's uh, reflecting on these treasured moments, closely observing. Uh, you've done what you can do um, there and 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 then you you've woken up to this situation all around you where there's some treachery there's some people that haven't had your best interests at heart and this is in your environment is people starting to understand that that what they've been through wasn't necessarily people you know thinking about them or thinking about what they needed or, or thinking this is really about something that um so this is in your environment. So someone around you is waking up to some sort of uh, treachery or some sort of understanding, some sort of thing where you only looked like you were taking a nap. You were actually buried alive. So, um, so, so you're in an environment of waking up and realizing realization. So there's an environment around you, somehow someone in your environment, some part of your situation is... Uh, lifting the lid off your casket and letting you see uh, what's gone on here. What is this? This 
This wasn't a flower after all. This is just a snake. So there's something in your environment that's either causing you to wake up or someone in your environment is waking up and starting to understand sort of the, the depth of the issue that was going on and that it wasn't what it seemed. They seemed like they were your friends, but they weren't. They tried to bury you. They seemed, it seemed like it was a flower, but it wasn't. And so either you're re realizing this or people around, maybe people around you are realizing what you've been through, the, the situation you had to deal with. Maybe that's what's going on in your environment is other people are realizing like, okay, what, or maybe other people are realizing that you haven't been very honest or that you haven't been what you seem. So that's very different to me than being honest, but you know, that you aren't what you seem and people are looking around going, huh, that person's a little different than I thought they were or something like that. So some, some sort of waking up and realization that things haven't been what they seem is going on around you. Your to-do list is the fool. This is, this is, this is ground zero. This is starting a whole new journey. This is, ooh, butterfly, I like. This is um, a poorly packed bag because you are just suddenly moving forward. This is inspired, this is an inspired movement forward. Whereas this queen of pentacles has been farming for quite some time and um, is ready to, to gather her harvest from something she's worked very hard on. This is, so, so this is a, a beginning to, to gather the harvest, beginning to bring something in. This is a whole new adventure. I don't understand it, um, but maybe this has to do with these weaving of flowers of this like starting something new, something exciting. You don't know where it's going to go, but you just have a good feeling about it. You don't know. And this is saying, saying, do that. If you find that inspiration, that butterfly that's, that's catching your eye, it's going to lead you out of a graveyard. It's going to lead you forward. There's going to be a lot of inspiration here. Um, something's going to get lit under your ass and you're going to move forward. So this is, this is saying, go for it. You may not, you may not be, it may not be perfect timing. You may not be perfectly prepared. It may not be, you know, this, this, all your ducks may not be in a row. Your suitcase may not be perfectly packed, but go for it. Move forward, play the fool, take a chance. It's going to guide you out of a graveyard, out of a darker spot, out, maybe out of the stagnancy, maybe this, um, and this kid, this Knight of Wands energy is going to come in real handy when this um, fool opportunity presents itself because um, you're going to have, you have this energy inside you that, that is like, let's go, let's go, let's move, let's charge forward. And that's, um, this opportunity is, is being presented to you to, to do something like that. And you're going to have that uh, in your inner landscape, you have, you're ready for that. You're ready to move forward, to charge forward. Um, even though it's going to involve just following your instincts and moving forward with something where you can't see where it's going. Um, this is, this is like a really move forward with your instincts, um, move forward with a, with a, with passion, um, move forward, understanding that, uh, the journey isn't going to be simple. It isn't going to be easy. It's going to be this night ride, but it is going to be protected and your intuition is there to, to help you. So a possible outcome is the seven of pentacles. So this is, so your to-do list is to, to take a leap forward. After you take a leap forward, you're supposed to do some, this is taking you to a place of calculation, of really uh, calculating your pentacles, moving your, your energy and your, um, your money around, shifting things, moving things, moving things around, um, calculating out uh, what's going to work, what's, what's not going to work, uh, carry the one. Um, this is this kind of like calculation energy. So it's asking you in your to-do list is leap forward. But where that leap is going to take you is a place where you need to like start calculating and really thinking and really focusing on um, on what your goals are and, and how you're going to move the situation forward. So this hanged man energy, the issue of things being way too stagnant and it being out of your control, it looks like you are going to have an opportunity to take a leap of faith. Um, and then this leap of faith, after you take the leap of faith, you're going to have to like start thinking about the calculations of what's going on behind that leap of faith. What is the issue? Um, how are you going to, <laughs> this is so classic. Um, you're going to take this leap of faith and then afterwards you're going to have to like, all right, right. 
I bought that car. Now, how am I going to pay for it? <laughs> I hope that the, I mean, but this isn't saying this is an irresponsible thing. If this was in your, in your at issue, um, thing, we take it in reverse, which would be like, well, oh, this, this is not necessarily fully thinking through the consequences, but this is what the tarot is saying that, that is, is possibly something you need to be doing is trusting your intuition, taking a leap forward, thinking about the consequences later. So, um, in general, I'm not, uh, obviously, uh, look to your therapist, your financial advisors and all of that before you take a leap forward. Don't just take, take my reading here for it, but it is sort of a leap forward, <laughs> shoot first, ask questions later kind of vibe here. So this is like, maybe follow your instincts, follow your instincts, um, make the decision, pull the trigger, uh, calculate and figure out, um, all the details later. And that is like really the message here in the cards but please do not make um large financial decisions on it if we're talking about like buy a dress go out to dinner figure out your financial thing after you go out for dinner that's one thing but if you're talking like move to a foreign country um and i'm just going to do that today and then figure out uh the details later well i've done that and it turns out fine but um but it is a lot of like thinking that goes in later so Anyway, so um, I hope this is helpful for you, Libra. And if it is, I, you can help me by commenting, liking, or subscribing. And this helps my little baby channel grow just a little bit more and, um, and brings it forward um, so that more people can find it. So I hope you have a wonderful week, Libra.